And we welcome you back to the Rush Hour Morning Show on this Monday morning. So glad that you could join us here on AM 1450, 101.1 FM, WGNC, Gastonia, Charlotte. Let's get right back to the phone line as we've got the head coach of Eastern Kentucky University, A.W. Hamilton. Coach, welcome to the Rush Hour Morning Show. How are you this morning? Man, I'm, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I appreciate you guys having me on. Well, Coach, it's it's fantastic having you on. Let's go ahead and get right into this. First of all, can't get much better in the world of college basketball when it comes to marketing than calling yourselves the most exciting 40 minutes in college basketball. Coach, I'd love for you to just describe what that means at Eastern Kentucky University with your program. So when I, when Brian, when I got the job here, I, I needed to get our fan base excited and energized. And, you know, I'm a Kentucky guy and I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the Kentucky Derby is the most exciting two minutes in sports. So I was like, you know what? I, I got to steal that. And, uh, we got to be the most exciting 40 minutes in sports. Um, so I branded our, our program that, uh, we want to play fast. We want to get up and down. We press for 40 minutes. Uh, we play an exciting brand of basketball and, you know, and, and our fans have, have absolutely fallen in love with it. Last year was the first time in school history that we led the conference in attendance. Uh, we, we've led the conference in scoring every single year I've been here. Uh, but more importantly, we've led the, led the conference in steals per game, forced turnovers per game. So it, it's an exciting brand. Uh, you know, we get up and down, we play really fast, but we play pressure defense and, you know, and, and not only do the fans love it, but kids want to play this style. They they want to play in a system where they you know they they can play fast and they can play free and they can play fearless and and that's what we do at Eastern Kentucky and we've had you know the the highest ranked recruiting class in school history. We've had the the highest ranked recruit in school history. So uh, it, it's been an exciting five six years here at Eastern Kentucky and you know building off our brand and you know it's uh you know it, it it's it's been a lot of fun. A.W. Hamilton here with us this morning on the Rush Hour Morning Show. Now, folks that may not necessarily know this about you, Coach, not you know, you are a Georgetown, Kentucky native just outside of Lexington, so obviously you know the landscape of eastern Kentucky and that I-75 corridor quite well. However, you've got some time spent in the Carolinas and just north of Carolina up in Virginia at Hargrave Military Academy. Kind of tell us the story of what got you into this part of the world and what ultimately got you to Hargrave Military Academy? You know, so I, w- I was very fortunate as, as a player. You know, I played at Scott County High School for a legendary coach, Billy Hicks. And, you know, uh, when I was coming out of high school, you know, I didn't have a high enough ACT score. So I ended up having to go to a prep school. I went to Hargrave Military Academy. I played for uh, Kevin Keats. And, you know, as my college career continued, um, I wanted to get into coaching, and then I, I became an assistant coach for Kevin Keats at Hargrave. Um, then he moved on and took an assistant job at Louisville. And then here I was, like 31 years old. I became the head coach at Hargrave Military Academy. Couldn't believe it. You know, I, I was on top of the world. I felt like I was coaching the Boston Celtics. And, you know, I did that for six years. Um, and then I was very fortunate. I got on Kevin Keats' staff at NC State, and I was there for nine months. And, you know, it, you know, basketball takes you on a different, a lot of different paths and a lot of different journeys. And, you know, I never would have believed in a million years I'd be the head basketball coach at Eastern Kentucky. And the job came open. I applied for it. And, you know, I, I got this job. My wife is from Northern Kentucky. My family still lives here in Central Kentucky. So, you know, I, I ended up at, at Richmond. Well, there you are. Coach, you know, you, you mentioned a name like Kevin Keats. Of course, Kevin Keats, the head coach at North Carolina State University, obviously having played some at Wake Forest before tra- transferring to Marshall. I would imagine that a lot of what we see out of the Marshall program today, along with Coach Kevin Keats, had a, had a lot of influence on how you coach basketball nowadays. Would love for you to dive into that some. You know, it, it really has. And, you know, when I was growing up in, in as a kid and I was playing high school basketball, you know, Rick Pitino was the coach in Kentucky and, and they pressed and they shot threes and it was an exciting brand. And when I played at Scott County High School, we, we pressed and, and we shot threes and we won a state championship. And then, you know, I go to Hargrave Military Academy. I play for Kevin Keats and, you know, he plays the same, the same brand of basketball and, um, you know, and then I, I was fortunate guys like, 
you know, I go to Wake Forest. I play for Dave Odom. He leaves and takes his South Carolina job. Then Skip Prosser comes in. So I get to play for Skip Prosser. And then, you know, I remember Coach Prosser brings me in the office one day and, and says, hey, Dub, listen, you know, we got Chris Paul coming in. I don't, I, you know, you, you may want to transfer. And, and it was, the, it was the most genuine thing that a coach has ever told me. So I got the heck out of there and I went to Marshall and I played for Greg White and then I played for Ron Jersey. So I played for four different head coaches in college and all of them had such a big impact in my life and molded me how I wanted to coach the game of basketball. But most importantly, how, how I want to build young men. Um, because it's so much bigger than the game. So the, the, all, all those coaches had such a big in, influence on me and how I coach and, um, and, and, you know, what I want to do for these guys that I'm coaching. Because, you know, it it's such a it, – your career is so small and so it goes so fast. And, um, you know, I want to make sure they all have a great experience. And um, so I, I, I was very fortunate just, you know, at the time I kept, you know, uh, in my career was going on, I'm like, Gosh, I'm playing for another coach. I'm playing. This guy's leaving. And, you know, it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, A.W. Hamilton here with us on the Rush Hour Morning Show. Coach, obviously, the time that you spent at Wake Forest, obviously Wake Forest, part of Tobacco Road, one of the college basketball hubs in this country. But playing basketball, coaching basketball in the state of Kentucky has got to be something that's very much akin, if not maybe to your heart, even a more profound experience. Obviously, you guys, the Colonels, played Western Kentucky yesterday. You've got Northern Kentucky that makes a lot of noise every year. Darren Horn's club playing in the Horizon League. Obviously, you've got the Wildcats just up the road in Lexington. What's it like having played in the state of Kentucky and now coaching one of the major programs in the state of Kentucky? Well, this is such an incredible state. You know, we're, we're the only state that has one state champion in basketball. Um, so, you know, we call it the Sweet 16. So, you know, w- when they play the Sweet 16 and they're playing for the high school state championship, Rupp Arena sold out. Um, when, when I was a player, I remember we played in front of 24,000 people in Rupp Arena. Um, the, the fans and the, and the people are so passionate about the game of basketball here. Um, and, you know, they would always say, you know, when Kentucky's playing, when you, when you fly over the state and you don't see any cars, um, and, and that's how it is with our fan base too. And like, you know, when, when we play, our arena's packed and, you know, people love it and they, they get into it and they're passionate about it. The high school games around here are always packed and the, the fans are so passionate. So it, it's just a special state because the, how much people care about the game of basketball and, the, and they love the game of basketball. And the high school coaching in the state of Kentucky is phenomenal. Uh, if you watch a Kentucky high school uh, team play, the fundamentals are so strong. Um, so it, it's just a special place. Well, let's let's talk about your team a little bit. Had a chance last year to watch your team play in the Levine Center against Queen's University of Charlotte. Now, Queen's University of Charlotte was a Division II power for a long, long time before going into the ASUN EKU, one of the established brands in the A-Sun now after spending such a long time in the Ohio Valley Conference. Coach, you've got a former Scott County guy, Michael Moreno, on your roster. And then we've got a guy, I don't know if you had a chance to catch this conversation, Coach, but we had Isaiah Cozart on the air last week. And we incorporated something with Isaiah called Stash Action, as this guy has one of the best stashes in college basketball and certainly (laughs) – in the Atlantic Sun Conference. Tell us a little bit about your team and some of the pieces that really make this go because I'm very intrigued by Michael Moreno. He's basically got a green light to shoot from anywhere on the forward side of half court. Yeah, no, listen, we got it. I love the stash. I mean, you got me laughing, but uh, I mean, listen, we got a special group of guys. We're, we're off to, you know, a little bit of a bumpy star, but we're, we're one of six teams in the country that didn't lose somebody to the transfer portal. Um, these kids love each other. Uh, they love Eastern Kentucky. They, they love Richmond, Kentucky. Um, you know, the transfer portal has changed the game and the landscape of college basketball. And, you know, we're fortunate. We're one of the teams that, um, everybody wanted to come back. You know, we're, we're coming off the most postseason wins in 78 years. 
it's the first time we've been in a national postseason championship game. We're in the CBI championship. So, you know, we, we got a special group. Michael Marino, listen, he, he's had a Hall of Fame career. Um, you know, he's six made threes away from being the all-time leader at Eastern Kentucky and threes made. And Isaiah Cozart, every time I turn around, I mean, he's breaking records. I mean, he's, he's, he's broke the record at EKU, most blocks in the game, most blocks average in the season. Um, it, it's, he's number one in the country in block shots right now. He had seven block shots last night at Western Kentucky. And, you know, we're, you know, we, we got a chance to have a really special season this year. You know, as the seasons go, you know, you always define the how you handle adversity. And we, you know, we've had a little bit of a bump in the road. We have a seven point lead at Western last night and we feel like we let that one slip away. But listen, I, I got, this is how much fun and how much I love my team. I love going to practice every day. I love being around the guys. They they love to compete. They love to be coached. They hold themselves accountable. Um, they're a disciplined group. Um, they're phenomenal in the classroom. We literally have no distractions. You know, you know, we got such a group, uh, such a great group. Sometimes I just have to just find something to get mad at them about, so I can <laughs> so I can just be mad. You know, <clears throat> but you know, I, I, I'm I'm really lucky and fortunate to have this group. Well, your club is going to be making their way to Greensboro to take on the Spartans, Mike Jones's UNCG club this Thursday. And then, of course, you're going to be taking on Bethany College. You're going to make the trip. This is going to be a tough trip for you, Coach. You guys are going to the Raging Cajuns of the University of Louisiana. And then on December the 17th, this one's this one I've got circled. Coach, I'm really trying to make the six-hour trek to watch this contest between Northern Kentucky and Eastern Kentucky. Coach, give me a little bit of a synopsis about what this part of the year means for this club as you start to work your way into conference play. But give me a little bit of an idea of what the meaning of this Northern Kentucky-Eastern Kentucky rivalry game has for that I-75 corridor. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, when, you, when you're going through your non-conference schedule, you know, we're, we're – we're trying to find a rhythm, you know, both uh, both offensively and defensively. You know, we're, you know, we we we're playing the challenging schedule, and everything you do is, you know, we're in a one bid league, and and you got to build yourself up and get yourself ready for conference play. And you know, we're uh, my teams have always played their best in January and February and March. So, um, you know, we we'll go through this journey in the non conference. We play a challenging schedule. The UNCG, Mike Jones, wow. They're, they're, he's phenomenal. We, we played, we played them last year. It was a great game. We won at home and, um, they're, they're off to a great start. They just beat Arkansas. Yep. So, um, he's, he's got a great team. And look, the Northern Kentucky rivalry, it, it's one that we want to continue to play. It's, it's, it's great for our university. It's great for their university. It's great for the state. Um, Darren does a phenomenal job. And, Look, every time we've played, it's been an overtime. It's been a one possession game, two possession game. It's been a buzzer beater. So, um, the games have been phenomenal. And listen, I, we really need to get you there. Look, if you come, I got you courtside seats. Let's have fun. You'll love this, the atmosphere. It's an exciting game. The crowd is awesome. Uh, we really need to get you there. Well, coach, I, I, I'm excited. I'm trying to work out my travel plans right now. That game is going to be Sunday. December 17th, 4 o'clock. Certainly, it's going to be on ESPN+. Plus. But there's something different about being at McBrayer Court and watching Eastern Kentucky University basketball, the most exciting 40 minutes in college basketball. Coach, I want to thank you for your time this morning. We're definitely going to have you back. We'd love to get you back as we get closer and closer to conference season in the Atlantic Suns so we can talk about all the Florida schools, and then, of course, that matchup that you'll have coming up soon against the Queens University of Charlotte Royals. Coach, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right.